James, welcome to your third financial planning session. Are you ready? Yeah. Last session, we got really clear about what your current financial situation is, more of the concrete numbers of net worth, monthly income and expenses for you and your, your business. So today, I actually am going to review a roadmap with you that I've outlined with the exact steps that you need to take to start to reach some of the goals that we've discussed. Continue to budget once a month, do your money dates, increase your business revenue to 6000 per month and maybe add into the 401k or pay for these insurance policies. Open up that high yield savings for your cash cushion. Make sure you, you know you have about 15000 over there. Look into a business uh, or retirement plan through your business, which one's the best one for you, and then look into the disability and life insurance. Actually, some of the things that we've been doing or I've been doing, um, while spending or while going out and buying groceries or if I need to buy something for my business, um, I've been keeping track of everything I've been buying on a Google Sheets um, and it's been pretty successful. It's, you know, it gives me more clarity of what I'm actually buying. For example, do we need this much tofu in the fridge? Not really. Do we really need that much tofu? I feel like that should be like your running joke of you and your wife whenever you have uh, uh, your money dates. Do we really need that much tofu? Yeah. All right, the next thing you're going to do, which you've already started as well, is work on increasing your business revenue to $6,000 per month. So right now it's about $4,800 per month, but we talked about if you made a little bit more on average every month, we would have more money to maybe invest into the 401k or, or you know, use toward other goals. I've been recently researching more opportunities. For example, uh, I have a lot of footage from all around the world. So I've kind of been researching and figuring out how to sell those on different stock footage sites and license them out to different producers. Ah, I think both of those are so fantastic. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I would just suggest over the next six months, make it the goal to like, you know, increase that um, until you get to that 6,000 average per month. The next one I have is your cash cushion goal. I know you have some assets, you have your investment accounts, but I'd like for you to make sure that you carve out $15,000 because that would be about three months of your expenses. I want to make sure that you have a separate high yield savings account for this $15,000. That's the cash cushion separate from your normal checking and savings account. It's not your long term investments, but that way you and your wife have this cushion that you know is accessible if you need it but at least in that high yield savings it's earning a little bit more interest than just your typical checking savings account okay yeah we can definitely go ahead and open one up so you would keep your normal checking and savings still like your personal and your business this would just be something separate like sometimes clients have their cash cushion savings they have like a travel savings or if there's like short-term goals so you can have multiple for different goals cool i like that so the next action item on your financial roadmap is to open up some sort of retirement account. Because you're a business owner, you have the options of a solo 401k or simple IRA or SEP IRA. So you want to work with your CPA and tax accountant to figure out which retirement plan will be right for you and your business structure. But the mm -hmm. reason is you can put a contribution into those accounts. For example, like a solo 401k, you could put 20,500 into that account is the maximum and that's deductible on your tax return for the year. So not only are you investing for retirement, but now you're getting a tax deduction, which is huge. Um, and then that money grows tax deferred and when you take it out in the future, that's when you owe taxes. But this is really important as business owners because we have to like have our own retirement accounts um, yeah. But when we save into them, we get those tax benefits as well. One thing to remember on those retirement accounts, your money is technically locked up until age 59 and a half. You can't access the money without a penalty. So you have to think of this as long term. You're not going to need it. But in yeah. your case, it's really good because you already have investment and now this will give you the tax benefit. And then for your wife, she can do a spousal IRA or her own IRA, an individual retirement account as well and contribute to that. Okay, I like that. Thank you so much. And then the last action item I have on your roadmap is as a business owner, just look into getting disability insurance and life insurance. Disability insurance is really protecting you and your income and ability to earn an income. So if you're too sick or too injured to do your job, this could pay you a monthly benefit to sustain, obviously, your bills, pay your expenses. 
And then life insurance is really conversation for you and your wife to have. Like, if something were to happen to either of us, what do we want to leave behind and maybe a death benefit so the other one is financially stable and okay. Life and disability insurance. Okay, I'll go ahead and look into that a little bit more. So I know we went over a lot. How do you feel about everything we've outlined so far? Um, I think there's some pretty important steps. I didn't really think about insurance. When you're employed, you have that security, you know? Um, but when you're on your own, you gotta kind of make things happen. And if something happens that you're not expecting, maybe it's good to have that. And the cash cushion, for sure. I'll start figuring that one out as well. You know, it's just step by step, action by action, really is all you can do. So I think just, yeah, having these conversations, looking at, to, at some of your options with insurance and then making progress on the other things, it'll, it'll be good. And really, it's just step by step for everybody. Step by step. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm excited for you. Good luck with those action items. I'll see you in a month. And until then, go get them. Cool. Thank you. Bye.